Tonight we have a wonderful topic about the second coming. Chigisho chacho chuyu mungoro wa nagahozo. Chiravuga kukugaruka. Tonight we're going to talk to you about the fascinating subject of the second coming. Kuruyu mungoro wa tuje kuganira. Kuri chichigisho mwara mutima cho kugaruka kwa Yesu. Many people are afraid of what will happen tomorrow. Aba nuvenshi vivaza ichizavejo. But I want to tell you there is hope beyond tomorrow. It is a marvelous understanding that we have from the Bible and the book of Revelation. Now I want to tell you a little story about people who go up into the air as astronauts. Kubahanga wazamu kakure mwenye nyeri nukwezi Abo vita wa stronote Maybe you don't think about them very often Ahari nubite chere zao chane But there are countries that put people out into space Hariko haribi hugu bjo here za wa numuchirere iokure There was a big space vehicle called the Columbia Hari igisa nduku jisa nindege chinini chitu kwa ga Kolombia cha jie mga vanhu. It had been up in the sky for quite a while. Chama zigie chire chire muchirere chizere rija nino. These astronauts were coming home. Nuko abo wa shaka shati bari watashi muhira. And it was just like any trip. Maybe we all took it for granted that they will come safely. Ahari tukwese tukwa kuibgira ngo nivi sanzgue vasho waraga kujera hasi. Oh, then something terrible happened. Ariko isha nurjaba wa yeho. People were shocked. Awa nu varahunga vana. Seven people had their lives snuffed out. Awa nu varin wivose vaburubuzi mabgabo. Oh, their families and friends were devastated. Imirijangwa yabo igwa muga hubi mukanu. I want to talk to you about a space journey tonight that will not end in disaster. A journey that will not only begin well, but it will end well. Our commander is going to get us home. Our commander is Jesus Christ. Commander wa chuo yitu kwa Yesu Kristo. I don't care if you're here in the audience tonight or you're watching us over streaming video. Aho a wuture vera ho se kuisi binyuze mukora na muhanga changura ha. You need to know the truth about this special space journey. Ukuiriye kumenya amakura ha dije. When Jesus comes to take us home, we will rise into the air. He will call us up into the air. And he will take us with him. We will go past the moon. We will go past the sun. We will go past the planets in our solar system. Higher and higher and deeper into space. We will come to an opening in space. It is called Orion. We are told we will will go through Orion because Jesus is taking us home. And there is one thing for certain. This journey in space will not end in disaster. You see, the second coming of Jesus Christ what will accomplish what no scientist has even dreamed is possible. Our Lord will take us from the depths of difficulty and potential death and take us to eternal life. God's end time plan is revealed in 
the Bible. Umugambi w'Imana urwo rugendo uhishurwa muri Bibiliya. The Bible that not even lions can devour. Kandi Bibiliya ntishobora kuribwa n'intare iraramba. Now this is what it gives us as a confidence giving promise. Ngiryo rero isezerano ridutera ishema tukabaho nta mususu. Jesus says I am coming quickly. Nuko Yesu yavuze ati dore ndaza vuba. Now I want you to check that in the Bible. None rero ni mubaze Bibiliya. Because if it's in the Bible I believe it. Niba kiri muri Bibiliya ndakizera. If it disagrees with the Bible. Niba rero hariho kunyuranya na Bibiliya. Then it's not for me. Sinchemera sinchizera. Now the mountain peak of prophecies in the Bible. Nuko rero imisozi n'impinga zivugwa muri especially in the very last book of revelation cyane cyane mu gitabo gisoza ibi bibiliya cyitwa ibyahishuwe revelation talks about the second coming of jesus ibyahishuwe bitubwira kugaruka kwa yesu you see when you look at the book of revelation iyo witegereje igitabo cy'ibyahishuwe there is one central theme harimo izingiro ry'insanganya matsiko imwe that is Jesus. Iryo zingiro ni Yesu. It's not the dragon. Ntabwo ari kiyoka. Not the seven-headed beast. Ntabwo ari anyamaswa y'imitwe irindwi. The great prophecies of the book of Revelation. Ahubwo buhanuzi bwimbitse mu gitabo cy'ibyahishuwe. Do not focus on the beast but on Jesus Christ. Ntabwo gwubakiye kunyamaswa gwubakiye kuri Kristo Yesu. These prophecies describe the return of our Lord. Ubu buhanuzi busobanura byimbitse kugaruka ku mwami wacu. It's going to be the climax of history. Aho niho amateka Notice the pattern now. No ne horero tkuite kuriivi. Let's go to the Bible. Reka dusange Bibiliya. But in Revelation 14:14. Arko mubya ishugice cha chumi na kano mlongo chumi na kane. Oh, then I looked and behold a white cloud. No, kundi e kuwa namboni gichuchera. And on the cloud, kandi kuri chogichu, sat one like the Son of Man. Harihi cha yusana umga na umunu. Having on his head a Golden crown. And in his hand a sharp sickle. Now when the book of Revelation pictures the coming of Christ. It pictures him as the king of kings. He's coming with a crown on his head. Now notice this carefully. The Bible does not tell us that Jesus is coming quietly. Bibiliya ntabwo itubwira ko Yesu azaza bebera or secretly. Cyangwa ngo aze yihishe. No, the, the Bible is very exact in what it says. Bibiliya ivuga yeruye isobanutse. When Jesus came the first time. Igihe Yesu yazaga bwa mbere as a little baby cyagihe ari uruhinja in Bethlehem mu mugi wa Bethlehem very few people knew he was coming bake gusa nibo bamenye kwaje but when the bible predicts and shows his coming the second time ariko iyo bibiri hanura kugaruka kwe he comes with a crown and with a sickle imutwereka aje atamirijwe ikamba ku mutwe afite inkota for the second coming of Christ it is always pictured in power and glory. Kuko kugaruka kwe kugaragara mu bubasha no mwikuzo. Revelation 19:11. Ibyashuwe gice cya 19 umurongo wa 11. Now I saw heaven opened. Nuko mboni juru rikinguye. And behold a white horse. Kandi ngiye kubona mboni farashi y'umweru. And he who sat on him on the horse. Wari wicaye kuri yo farashi. So the one who is sitting on the horse, wicaye kuri yo farashi is called faithful and true. Yitwa kwizerwa kandi ukuri. And in righteousness he judges and makes war. Kandi mu gukiranuka akira amahanga kandi anesha intambara. All right, let's look at chapter 19 verse 14. Reka rero turebe igice cya 19 umurongo wa 14. Again my friends. Nanone nshuti yanje. Don't believe what Pastor Wilson says. Ibyo Pastor Wilson avuga sibyo bihagije, sibyo kamara. 
Check it out in your Bible. And the armies in heaven, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, followed him on white horses. So why does the Bible picture Jesus coming on a white horse? Well, it is a symbolic meaning. A white horse is a symbol of purity and victory and triumph. Kunesha. Kunesha. Is that victory? Victory. Kunesha, I like Kunesha. that. Kunesha, All right. He's, pic he's pictured as a victorious general. Kunesha. Kunesha. He's pictured as coming to defeat all of evil. He comes to do away with the enemy. He comes as the king of kings. The lord of lords. So this book and the book of Revelation is very plain. Jesus comes to this earth leading great armies to harvest the earth to find those who have believed in him and take them home on that space journey. The Bible does not teach a secret coming. Alright, let's look at Revelation 11, verse 5. Verse 15 says, The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord and of His Christ. And he shall reign forever and ever. When Jesus comes again, the great controversy will end. Sin and sinners will be no more. So Jesus coming is not a mysterious event. He comes to reign over the entire universe. And the redeemed through his grace will worship him throughout eternity. Now Jesus describes one of the deceptions before his second coming. Luke chapter 17 verse 23. And they will say to you, look here, look there. In other words, some people will try to deceive you. Oh, I heard that Jesus is coming over here. Or maybe he's going to be in Kigali. Jesus said, do not go after them or follow them. In other words, if somebody says, I know Jesus is coming secretly in a place, you come with me and we'll find him. You will know that is a false understanding. Oh, maybe somebody, you maybe even hear it on the news. Oh, he's in Tokyo. Oh, no, he's come to Frankfurt, Germany. Ah, I heard he's in Kabuye. Oh, maybe he's in Gisenye. Don't go running after them. Listen to what the Bible says. Luke 17, 24. Pay attention to the words. 
It tells us how Jesus will come. Hatugira uko Yesu azaza. For as the lightning that flashes out of one part under heaven, kandi nkuko murabyura biriza mu ruhande rumwe rw'ijuru, shines to the other part under heaven, ukarabagirana ku rundi ruhande. So also the son of man will be in his day. Uko niko umwana w'umuntu azaba ku munsi umwe. Satan is, is attempting to deceive you. Agerageza ibishoboka ngo abayobye. He is the master deceiver. Uwo ni umunyabinyoma kabuhariwe. He counterfeits just about everything. Ni umushukanye ushobora kwigana ikintu cyari cyo cyose. To lead people away from Bible truth. Kugira ngo abantu abavane mu kuri kwa Bibiliya. But Jesus revealed his plan very clearly. Ariko Yesu yasobanuye umugambi we mu buryo busobanutse. So let me share with you just a few facts about Jesus soon coming. Reka ngire ibintu by'ingenzi bimwe nsobanura ku kugaruka kwa Yesu. His coming will be literal. That means real. Kugaruka kwa Yesu si inzozi, ni impamo. Acts chapter 1 verse 11. Ibyakozwe n'intumwe ice cya mbere umurongo wa 11. You see the angels were speaking to the disciples as Jesus went up into the air after he had risen from the grave. Aba marayika baganiraga n'intumwa bavuga ku kuzamurwa kwe igihe yaramaze kuva mu mva. Jesus had been on earth for a while and then after a few days he went to heaven. Akizuka yabaye igihe gito ya kwisi nuko aza kuzamurwa and the disciples were told this in verse 11 mazabigishwa babwirwa aya magambo ku murongo wa 11 this same jesus uyu yesu ubakuwemo who was taken up from you into heaven ubakuwemo akajyanwa mwijuru will so come in like manner in the same way as you saw him go into heaven uko mwamubonye azamuka niko azagaruka that's what the Bible says. So Jesus ascends. Yesu arazamurwa. The power of gravity cannot keep him down because he is God. Imbaraga rukuruzi ikururira ibintu byose hasi ntishobora kumugusha kuko ni umuremyi. He goes higher and higher and higher. Nicyo gituma azamuka kazamuka kandi akazamuka. And the disciples are just amazed and they're watching him. Abigishwa baratangara bararama. And they Angels told the disciples. Maze maraika abgira izonunga. He's going up into heaven. Uko mumubonya zamuka. In the same way. Murubgo burjo. He will come back. Nina kwa zagaruka. So a real Christ ascended and a real Christ is going to come back. Krisito muzima su muzimu. Niwe wazamutse azagarukari muzima. Christ's coming will be a visible event. Kugaruka kwa Yesu bizaba ari ibintu bigaragarira amaso. Visible means you can see it. Ibyo bivuga ngo umuntu azaba ashobora kumubona. He descends from heaven visibly. You will see it. Azamanuka va mu ijuru agaragara aboneka. Ah, here's one of the most important texts tonight. Hano ari umurongo w'ingenzi kuri uyu mugoro. Don't miss it. Ni mucikwe. You, you friends on this side, don't miss it. Those of you on that side, don't miss it. Revelation 1.7 Behold, he is coming with clouds. So he's coming up in the sky. And here is the important part. Every eye will see him. Ijisho ryose rizamubona. 1 Thessalonians 4:16. Rwandiko rwa mbere rwa Bitesaloniki gice cyaka no murongo wa 16. The Lord himself would descend from heaven. Kuko mwamubwe azaza manutse ava mu ijuru. You see the Bible is consistent. Bibiliya ibitindaho. The angel said as you see him go up he's going to come back. Ariko bati uko azamutse niko azagaruka. Paul, the Apostle Paul, says he's going to descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. Oh, 
What good news. Mbegi nkuru ishimishije. He comes literally. Aza agaragara. He comes visibly. Aza amasa murewa. He comes audibly every year. Aza amatwi amwumva. Have you perhaps in this audience someone has lost a loved one by death? Birashoboka ko muri riteraniro hari ababuza abantu babo. Maybe a little baby that you laid in the grave. Wenda washinguye uruhinja uburu sinziriye mumva. A son or daughter that got killed by a car accident. Umuhungu cyangwa umukobwa wawe yaguye mu mpanuka. That grave is marked by God himself. Iyomva irinzwe n'Imana ubwayo. The Bible says the Lord himself shall descend with a shout. Kuko Bibiliya imbwira ngo umwami umana ubwe azamanuka n'ijwi riranguruye. And that shout will pierce the tomb. Maze iryo jwi rizamenagura imva. Of every believer who died. Imvaza bizera bapfiriye muri Kristo Yesu. Oh the voice of an archangel and the trumpet of God. Ijwi rya marayika w'Imana n'impanda y'Imana ikomeye. So Jesus is not coming secretly or quietly. Nuko rero Yesu ntazaza mwibanga cyangwa bucece. When you shout people hear it. Iyo uvuze ijwi riranguruye abantu barumva. When you play a trumpet people hear it. Iyo uvugije impanda abantu barumva. The Bible says Christ will the dead in Christ will rise first. Bibiliya iravuga ngo abapfiriye muri Kristo nibo bazabanza kuzuka. One day Jesus will say. Umunsi umwe Yesu azavuga ati John come forward. Johanna vayo. Mary come out of the grave. Maria soka muri cyo gituro. Come with a new resurrected body. Ngwino wambitswe umubiri wo kuzuka. And that that person will rise up with a new body in Christ. Nuko umuntu wapfuye azazuka no mubiri utabora muri Kristo Yesu. And they will rise off the ground and meet Jesus in the air. Abo bazazamuka bavanwe mu mva bamusanganire mu kirere. In that same chapter verse 17. Muri cyo gice umurongo wa 17. Look it up in your Bible. Komeza ubirebe muri Bibiliya yawe. Beautiful promise from God. Harimo amasezerano meza y'Imana. Written by the apostle Paul. Yanditswe n'intumwa then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them those who have been raised to life in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. What a beautiful promise. So who are we going to be caught up with? With them. Who are the them? The righteous dead who have been resurrected. The righteous dead who have been sleeping in their grave. And we will rise up to meet the Lord in the air. And then it ends in that beautiful section. And thus, we shall always be with the Lord. Nuko rero tuzabana n'umwami wacu iteka ryose. All those words are full of God's love. Aya namagambo yuje urukundo rw'Imana. Now does God come to live on this earth at that time? Ese umwami wacu azaza ature kwisi cyo gihe? No, we just read what happens. Oya, twasomye bizaba. We meet him in the air. Tumusanganira mu kirere. Notice what Matthew 24 Dore cyo Matayo igice cya 24 Verse 26 says. Murongo wa 26 aravuga ati. Therefore if they say to you Nuko rero niba babwira bati Oh look he's out in the desert. Dore ari mu butayu. I heard he's in Tanzania. Numvise ko ari muri Tanzania. Oh maybe he's in the Serengeti desert. Changwa ari mu butayu bwa parike yitwa Serengeti. Don't go out to meet them. Ntukaje yongo basanye. The Bible says that the devil will pretend to make mighty miracles. Oh, maybe you might hear somebody say, Jesus is in Cairo, Egypt. Now I have to tell you, I, I like 
Cairo, Egypt. That's where I grew up as a little boy. I love the Middle East. I love Africa. But if somebody tells me Jesus is in Cairo, don't go there or believe it. Because when the real Christ comes, he's not going to come secretly or in one particular place. He's not going to be just in Rurengeri or in Butare or in some obscure place. It says he's going to come in the clouds of heaven. So Christ's coming will be a glorious event. That great chapter, Matthew 24. Great prophetic chapter. Tells about the signs of Jesus coming. Verse 27. As the lightning comes from the east and flashes to the west. So also will the coming of the Son of Man be. Jesus' coming will be a dazzling light display. Christ, the life giver. The one, the only one who can resurrect people from the dead. He will come to take his people home. The real Christ is coming in the sky. Don't forget it. The real Christ is coming to resurrect the dead. Don't Forget it. The real Christ will catch us up into the sky and we'll travel to heaven. Matthew 24, verse 30. The Son of Man will appear in heaven. And then all the tribes of the earth will mourn. You see, Christ coming is like the lightning coming from east to west. He will appear to every tribe, every nation, every person on this earth. And as I underlined it a few moments ago, Revelation chapter 1 verse 7 says, Every eye will see him. Now here's an important point. It's not only believers who will see him when he comes. When he comes, every eye will see him. Every ear hears his coming. When Jesus comes, there will only be two classes of people on this earth. Those who are saved and have accepted Jesus Christ. And those who are unsaved and they have rejected Jesus Christ. Only two classes of people. The people who are lost. And the people who are redeemed by the blood of Jesus. There is no second chance after Christ's return. The Bible goes on to say, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. The Bible says they will see. They will see the Son of Man. 
umwana w'Imana. So Jesus comes. Yesu araje. Literally. Mu buryo bugaragara. Visibly. Amasa mureba. Audibly. Amatwi yumva. And Jesus comes in a fantastic way. Kandi Yesu azaza mu ikuzo ritangaje. Christ coming will be a climactic event of this earth's history. Kugaruka kwa Yesu bizahinduka iherezo rya mateka y'isi. 1 Corinthians 15. Urwandiko rwa mbere rwa Bikorinto igice cya 115 51 to 53. 51 to 53. Okay, let's read this carefully. Reka dusome ibitwitonze. Behold, I tell you a mystery. Reka mbamenere ibanga. We shall not all sleep. Nituzasinzira twese. But we will be changed. Ahubwo tuzahindurwa. In a moment. Mukanya gato. In the twinkling of an eye. At the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound. And the dead will be raised incorruptible. And we shall be changed. Oh my brothers and sisters here in the This is a climactic event. Aho niho amateka yose arangirira. It's a dramatic event. Ni igikorwa gitangaje. The Bible says, Bibiliya iravuga ngo, For this corruptible, corruptible means it it perishes. Kuko uyu mubiri ubora puts on incorruption. Uzambikwa kutabora. And this mortal it means we die. Uyu upfa bivuga nyine ko ari ugupfa. Must put on immortality uzambi kwa kudapfa we will live forever maze tubeho byiteka ryose through the power of god mu bubasha bw'Imana yacu so can you imagine now mbese ibi wabitekereza ute christ comes streaming down through the corridors of space yesu na manuka vuye mu bicu by'ijuru this earth is illuminated with god's glory nuko isi ikuzura ubwiza bwe the ground begins to shake Isi igatigita Buildings begin to sway back and forth Inzu zigatangira lightning flashes Imirabyo myinshi The thunder crashes Inkuba zikubita Thousands and upon thousands and millions of angels Ibihumbi miliyoni z'abamaraika Come with Jesus to this earth Bazanye na Yesu kuri isi And they head to the graves of the righteous believers who have died Bagahita berekeza kumvaza bizera bamaze igihe basinziriye And that trumpet sound and the shout of Christ raises them from the dead. Imana y'Imana ikavuga ijwi rya Yesu rikabazura. There is no more curse of sin. Umuvumo w'icyaha ntuzongera kubaho. No more deaf ears. Ntazongera kuba matwa pfuye. No more blind eyes. Ntazongera kuba amasa atabona. No more limbs that hurt and can't move. Ntazongera kubaho ingingo zidashobora gukora. No more diseases. Ntazongera kuba uburwayi. No more cancer. Ntazongera kuba cancer. No more heart disease. Ntazongera kuba indwara z'umutima. No more sida. Na sida. As believers we're looking up. Vizera turebe hejuru. Christ is coming. Mwami wacharaje. It's the most important event in the world. Niyo mateka akomeye kwisi. Our bodies become instantly blessed by God. Mazi mibiri yacu akokanya ihabwe umugisha ni imana. We receive immortality. Maze twakire twambikwe kudapfa. Oh what a day when Jesus comes. Bega umunsi ubwo Yesu azabagarutse. Jesus changes us forever. Yesu aduhindure byiteka ryose. New life pulses through the body. Maze duhabwe ubuzima bushya mu mibiri yacu. Oh Dr. Harding talked tonight about getting good rest. Dr. Hart mukuru uyu mugoro oba yavuze ibyo gusinzira if you want to be a really alive eat well and get good rest and exercise niba ushaka kumererwa neza rya neza kora imyitozo ryama kugihe but even then our bodies are just frail and we could get sick ariko niyo bigenje utyo hari ubwo umubiri urwara ugacika intege but When Jesus comes. Ariko Yesu nagaruka. He is going to give us new life. Azaduha ubuzima bushya. And our countenance, our bodies will be full of 
perfect health. And joy and gladness. As Christ descends in glory. We sing his praises. As our bodies are changed into immortal bodies. Revelation 15 verse 3. Great and marvelous are your works. Just and true are your ways. O King of the Saints. You know we're going to see the dead resurrected. We're going to see our brother and sister or our son or daughter or whoever was close to you and died in Jesus. They will be raised out of the grave. I will see my mother and father again. They loved Jesus. And Jesus is watching over their grave. But when that trumpet sound comes, and the shout comes, they will rise out of those graves with new, youthful, immortal bodies. And if you have ever lost a little loved one, a little precious baby, the angels will present that little baby to you. Oh, we will ascend to heaven together. Picture this scene now in your mind. Loved ones embracing each other. Families reunited. The greatest drama of all the ages. When we see our loved ones coming out of the grave, we are singing great and marvelous works. Don't miss the lecture about what happens when a person dies. I'll give you just a little just a little idea. You come back and hear the full story. If people don't go into the ground and rest, because the Bible says it's like death is like sleeping. You don't know anything when you're sleeping. If they don't go into the ground and go to sleep, why are they going to come out of the ground? Uh, we'll find out. But we see Christ coming as the king. And we cry out. Isaiah 25 verse 9 Behold this is our God We've waited for him And he will save us Oh we've waited for Jesus We've not accepted those false Christs We haven't been deceived by people who say Oh go to Kigali he's over there or go to Dar es Salaam. I know he's there. You know, you're going to find some people even here in Africa who even proclaim that I am Christ. Don't ever believe it. When Jesus comes back again, He's coming and every eye will see him. Oh, that beautiful verse says, this is the Lord, we've waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. 2 Corinthians 6.2 But behold, now is the 
accepted time. Dore iki nicyo gihe cyo kwemererwamo. Behold now is the day of salvation. Dore none ni wo munsi wo gukirizwamo. I want to tell you tonight. Reka mbabwire kuri uyu mugoroba. Our eternal destiny is being settled by the choices we make tonight. Aho tuzaba byiteka ryose hategurwa n'icemezo dufata kuri uyu mugoroba. I believe we are living just at the very end of time. Nizeye ko turi ku musozo w'ibihe. Just before Jesus glorious coming. Mbere yuko Yesu amanuka mu ikuzo rye. I believe that soon Jesus will stream down through the corridors of space. Nize yuko Yesu agiye kumanuka mu bicu by'ijuru. Oh, I just love this subject. Munda iki kigisho. I love to preach about the second coming of Jesus Christ. Munda kubwiriza kuri uko kugaruka kwa Yesu. I hope you will be a great agent of information and a special missionary to tell people about Jesus coming. Nibwira ko kuva uyu mwanya uhindutse intumwa yo kurarikira abandi gusanganira Yesu ugiye kugaruka. So in summary let's discover what happens when Jesus comes. Mu magambo make reka tuvuge uko bizagenda Yesu nagaruka. First of all there will be seismic upheavals earthquakes. Gutigita kwisi ibi imishitsi ibishitsi mountains and islands will be moved out of their places imisozi ikurwa hayo secondly the righteous dead will be raised cyakabiri abapfuye bakiranuka bazurwe those who have died in christ abapfiriye muri kristo will hear christ trumpet like voice bazumva ijwi rya kristo n'irya impanda rise into eternal life maze bazamurwe mu buzima bw'iteka ryose thirdly the righteous living will be changed icyagatatu abazaba bakiriho bamwizeye bazahindurwa fourthly immortality will be bestowed icyakane bazahabwa kudapfa wicked living will be destroyed cyagatanu abagome bazaba kiriho bazapfa in revelation chapter 6 mu byahishu gice cyagatandatu verses 14 and 15 mongo 14 kugeza wa 15 it says the wicked will call for the rocks and the mountains to fall over them abanyabyaha bazatakambira ibitare nibikombe bagira bati ni mutugweho when jesus comes there will be no second opportunity yesu nagaruka nta mahirwe ya kabira za Number 6 the righteous welcome Christ. Icyagatandatu abakiranutsi bakire Yesu. Number 7 the righteous go to heaven. Icyakarindwi abakiranutsi bajyanwe mu ijuru. Ah you know somebody might say but wait a minute pastor. Ariko umuntu umwe ashobora kuvuga ati tegereza kanya gato pastor. Did you forget the text in the Bible? Mbese wibaje umurongo uri muri Bibiliya. That says he's coming as a thief. Uvuga ngo araza nk'umujura. Aren't there two comings of Christ? But ukona kono kugaruka kwa Yesu. One when he comes secretly as a thief. Ubgambere igihaza ngumujura. And the other one when he comes in his glory. Ubgakaviri akazamni kuzorje. What about that idea called the secret rapture? No ne iinheruro ivugango azaza ngumujura mnyivanga abantu bayivuga wiki Well let's look at Matthew 24 again. Wonderful chapter. Umurongo mwiza cyane. Prophetic understanding. Kandi ukwiriye kumvikana mu buryo bwa gihanuzi. Verse 36. Umurongo wa 36. But at that day when Jesus comes. Ariko umunsi no kuvuga Yesu agarutse. That day and hour no one knows. Nicyo gihe nta numubizi. Not even the angels of heaven. Nabamaraika bo mwijuru. But my father only. Jesus himself was speaking. Then in verse 43, same chapter, Matthew 24. Go to your Bible and look it up. Verse 43, but know this, if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. So is this text speaking about the manner of his coming? Or the time of his coming? 
kujihazazira when the bible talks about a thief iyo bibiri yivuga umujura it is talking about the time he comes ibivuga kujiha umujura azira not the manner he comes ntibivuga kuburyo azamo now uh, does a thief when he's about to rob a house iyo umujura yiteguye kwiba munzu does he put his hands around his mouth aragerageza gushyira ibiganza ku munwa stands in front of the house maze agahagarara imbere y'inzu and does he say the following maze akavuga aya magambo okay here i come get ready mwitegure rero naje i'm going to rob your house nje kubiba naje no he comes when we least expect it oya ahubwo umujuraza igihe tutabiteganya he comes quickly kanda zavuba rapidly akaza yihuta when jesus comes as a thief yesu naza nk'umujura the world at large will not expect him isi yose rero ntizamubona niba azaza nk'umujura because they haven't been watching for him kuko bazaba batari bamutegereje azaba tungura like you are doing right now nkuko turi hano kuri uyu mugoroba you are learning bible truth Turi kwiga ukuri kwa Bibiliya. You are learning the signs of Jesus coming. Turi kwiga ibimenyetso byo kugaruka kwa Yesu. You are learning about Matthew 24. Turi kwiga mata gice cya 24. So Jesus comes quickly. Yesu azaza vuba. Every eye will see him. Jesu ryo seriza mubona. The Bible doesn't at all teach that he's coming secretly. Bibiliya ntabwo yigisha kwa azaza mwibanga. Notice verse 44. Reka dusome umurongo wa 44. Therefore you also be ready. Nuko rero namwe muwe mwiteguye. For the son of man is coming. Kuko umwana w'umuntu agiye kuza. At an hour you do not expect. Igihe mudatekerezamo. Okay, look at 2 Peter 3:10. Urwandiko rwa kabiri rwa Petero igice cya gatatu umurongo wa 10. This should help you. Ibi byadufasha. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Kuko munsi w'umwami wacu uzaza nk'umujura mu gicuku. In which the heavens will pass away. Igihe ijuru rizakurwaho. With great noise. Maze akumvikana urusaku. And the elements will melt with fervent heat. Nuko ibintu byose bikayengeshwa no gushyuha. Both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. Isi nibitare bigashengeshwa no kuza kwe. So when Bijari when he comes he will come as a thief. Niryari azaza nk'umujura. But it means he will come quickly in an unexpected way. Azaza yihuta kuri bamwe mu buryo badatekereza for those who are not expecting him or unprepared it will be a surprise abazaba bataramwiteguye bazatungurwa the prepared people ariko abiteguye like you namwe no he's coming bazi ko agiye kugaruka the unprepared are surprised abataramwiteguye bazatungurwa and what happens to the people who are surprised and they haven't been making themselves ready. Bigendekera bite abatunguwe batigeze bafata igihe ngo bitegure. Well, what about, what about this expression of one taken and the other left? No, nese uyu murongo uvuga ngo umwe azajyanwa undasigare turawumva dute. Luke 17:36. Luka igice cya 17 umurongo wa 36. Two men will be in the field. Abagabo babiri bazaba bari mu murima. The one will be taken, the other left. Umwe ajyanwe undasigare. Does it say that the one who is left is left alive? Mbese bivuga ko usigaye azasigara ari muzima. That's what people put into the text but the text doesn't say that. Abantu bagerageza gutwerera uyu murongo icyo utavuga. So revelation is plain about the division of the world at the second coming of Christ. Ibyahishwe rero bisobanura amatsinda igihe Yesu azabagarutse. Revelation 6:15 to 17. Yesu gice cya gatandatu murongo wa 15 kugeza wa 17. And the kings of the earth. Nuko abami bo mwisi. The great men. Nabatware bakomeye. The rich men. Nabatware bingabo nabatunzi. The commanders. Nabo bubasha. The mighty men. Eh naba Every slave and every free man. Abimbata nabo mudendezo. Hid themselves in the caves and in the rocks. Bihisha mu buvumo no mu bitare. The rocks of the mountains they 
They cried for the rocks and mountains to come over them. And they said, fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath has come. Who, who is able to stand? Oh, how tragic. Bega ukuntu bikomeye Jesus comes to save us Yesu azanwe no kudukiza But some people have not prepared Ariko bamwe ntibiteguye They haven't allowed Jesus into their heart Kuko batamwemereye ngo ature mu mitima yabo Just like tonight in a few moments Nkuko muri uyu mugoroba mukanya gato I'm going to ask those of you who have not made a decision to do so tonight Ngiye guhamagara bamwe batarafata icyemezo cyo kumwakira You want to be part of that one class of people who is looking up and saying this is the God we need Abashaka kuba mu mubare w'abazavuga bati you don't want to be part of that class that is running and telling the rocks for me. You want to be part of God's great people who have not been deceived by the devil. One of the greatest deceptions that's ever been given about the second coming is that when Jesus comes, some people will be left on the earth, earth for a second chance. The devil has given that story. It's a lie. It's made to keep you from making a decision for Jesus. Some people might say, well, you know, when Jesus comes, then I'll get another chance, and then I can make my decision. Oh, I want to tell you tonight here in Gisenye, according to the holy word of God, According to the book of Revelation. And according to the teaching of Jesus Christ. There is no second opportunity. The time to get serious about salvation is tonight. Christ's coming will be a joyous event. Don't put your decision off until some future date. Don't, don't say, well, it's, it's a nice thought, but you know, it's not a convenient time. Don't miss the most joyous event of all time. It will be the happiest time of all history. The Gospel of John chapter 14. Verses 2 and 3. Many of you know this beautiful text. Even you know it by memory. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you. I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am there you may be also. So Jesus comes Yesu aragarutse. Coming down through the corridors of space. Amanutse mu bicu by'ijuru. Here's a family that laid their baby in the grave. Hari umuryango washinguye uruhinja rwabo. But now there's a rumbling and lightning flashes. None imirabyo irarabije ibintu byose bikuye mu mwanya wabyo. They look up and they see Jesus coming. Bararama babona Yesu agarutse. Lightning flashes from the east to the west. Babona imirabyo irasira iburasira zubikagera iburengera zuba 
comes. And the dead are resurrected. And a mama holds that baby once again in her arms. Is there anything that will keep you tonight from being ready for Jesus? Just think about it. A husband witnesses to his wife. Or someone to a friend. And they say, no. That's just a fairy tale. It's Christ will never come. But one day Christ will come. Come down through the corridors of space. And on that day, there will only be two classes of people. Those who are saved through the through accepting the blood of Jesus Christ. The eternal life he offers as a gift. The righteous in Christ. And the other class, a very sad class of people, those who will ask for the rocks and mountains to fall on them. My dear friends, tonight, there's only one thing that can satisfy today and forever. And that is Jesus Christ. It's not just make believe. It is reality. One day Jesus will come in the clouds of heaven and to take you and me to be with him. Would you like to say tonight, Oh Lord, when you come in those clouds, when you give that shout, when we hear the trumpet-like sounds and we see the millions of angels, oh Lord, save me. Do you want to say tonight, I believe that you're coming, Jesus, and I want to be ready. Tonight as we close, as you have seen how the Bible has shown Jesus coming is to be literal or real. Visual, you will see him. Audible, you will hear him. And glorious, you will just be in complete awe you have understood that. Has your heart been touched? Do you want to say, Lord, I want to be ready when you come. If you want to be part of that wonderful group of people, those people who are saved through the blood of Jesus, those people who call upon the name of the Lord, and through his grace you are saved. If you want to be part of that group that's looking up and saying this is the God we've waited for and he will save us if you want to be part of that group would you just stand to your feet right now?